Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another interesting beer review and a vice beer from um, Bavaria. And um, I, as you know, really really like Bavarian uh, vice beers. I uh, even love them really much. Um, probably my favorite beer style. This is a real classic among vice beers. Um, it's uh, Meisel's Weisse and it's um, as big as many of the other ones, Weyen Stefano, Franziskano, Paulano, Hackerbschor, Schneider, Schofferhofer, um, Kuschelbauer, um, Erdinger, Benedictino. There are so many big Weisspiels uh, from Bavaria. But uh, this one is looking like this. And uh, the label is real, a real classic in my opinion. Uh, back label, you have it right here. The cap is looking like that. Uh, Meisel's Weisse and uh, Aus Bayreuth Hefe Weissbier Original. So it's the the main one, the normal one. Uh, their um, Naturtrüb, so which means it's cloudy. It's um, it's continuing to yeast in the bottle which um, um, is making the pouring technique in a special way. I'm going to show you that later on, as uh, I always do with the vice bills. Uh, Familientradition seit 1887, gebaut nach dem Bayerischen Reinheitsgebot. Bayerns einzigartige Weißbier-Spezialität, die sorgfältige Auswahl feinster Weizen und Gerstenmalze, Verleiht meistens ihre rötlich leuchtende Bernsteinfarbe und das über Generationen von Braumeistern überlieferte Farbe und das über Brauverwahren der Flaschengärung mit Hefe aus eigener Reinsucht gibt den einzigartigen Charakter der frische Geruch nach feiner Hefe und angenehmen Fruchtnoten verbindet sich beim Antrunk mit der milden Würze aus Malz, Frucht und Nelkenaroma und einer Neuance Muskatnuss im Nachgang entfalten sie das dann für Meißelsweise typische leichtfruchtige, würzige Weißbieraroma. Diese Spitzenqualität ist für uns stets Ansporn und Verpflichtung zugleich. Um, Hefeweisbier for 5.1 ABV. Uh, 5.1 um, alcohol uh, is quite average. Zutaten Wasser, Weißen und Gerstenmalz, Hefe, Hopfen, Brauerei, Gebräu, Meisel in Bayreuth. And uh, the link to the brewer's website is also here on the back label, which will be linked in the description box below, as always. Uh, but over to some information and history about the brewery, as always. Bayreuth is best known for the annual Wagner Festival Games, which take place in the Opera House designed by Richard Wagner himself. For beer connoisseurs, the, beer, the city is a concept also. Here are five breweries, of which Meisel is the largest. It was founded in 1874 and is still owned by the Meisel family. The old brewery is now a museum, one of the world's largest brewery museums. In addition to the original equipment, there are also other items, from huge steamers to a collection of jars and glasses. Next to the museum is the brewery restaurant Goldener Löwe, where you can enjoy the whole Meisel range from barrels. Most beers are also bottled. Meisel's famous traditional specialty is Dampfbier, steam beer, a top fermented light beer with a rich malt flavor. In recent years, the brewery has concentrated mainly on its six wheat beers. Meisel's Weisse Original is a classic unfiltered Bavarian wheat beer with fresh yeast that causes the beer to ferment further in the bottle and also gives the beer a cloudy golden color with natural turbidity. It has a yeasty banana flavor, flavor with a soft fruity 
flavor of crispy dry hops bitterness on the finish. In addition, Maisel produces a full fruity dark wheat beer, an alcohol-free version, and a winter beer with ripe, rich spicy taste. Yeah, as I said, it's um, it's uh, continuing to ferment in the bottle, which is um, causing the yeast to um, be uh, collected at the very bottom of the beer, so um, or of the bottle. So that's make it uh, always. You have to use a special technique while pouring it up, and I'm gonna show you that. Um, First thing, first thing of course, important, you need to have a vice beer glass. You need to rinse it with uh, only cold water. So uh, you can probably see. Um, don't uh, use anything else than cold water. Because uh, the reason for why you do it is that it's gonna become easier for the beer to, uh, to move into the bottle. Um, as simple as that. Don't uh, dry it afterwards because the um, handkerchief is uh, not improving the taste. So uh, keep it just the way it is. Just use cold water when you're gonna rinse the glass just before you you serve it, or if you serve it to yourself, doesn't matter. Use the same technique. Um, let's pour up the bottle. The Meisel's vice. You hold the glass in an angle. 45 degree angle, let the beer come in slow and nice, gently. Then you pour it up like this, build up ahead. When there's um, a little bit left in the bottle, you uh, rotate the bottle like this. And it's because, as I said before, the yeast is uh, collected at the very bottom of the bottle, so you have to make it being a part of the beer again. And then you have to do it like this, or you can do it like this, or you can uh, turn the bottle on the label and roll it. But uh, then... You uh, pour up the rest, like this. To create a nice, nice head on it, which is compact, just the way it should be. There we have the uh, vice beer in the classic Bavarian style, just the way it should be, with um, the uh, cloudy. Uh, apricot uh, color of it and the um, white big compact head um, it um, it's making all the uh, flavors also appearing in the right way um, the aroma of course the uh, dominant banana aroma which it is in this High quality, great Bavarian uh, vice beers. A little bit of um, little bit of this fruity, very fruity aroma, which I like so much in the um, mango and um, pineapple aroma. Very velvety color also. Yeah, really bright and uh, a nice. This is just the way a vice beer should look like. So uh, let's taste it. Always something you need to do before the head disappears. Keeping that in mind with especially vice beers. Drink it while it's a big head. So, Prost! Of course, fantastic. Um, 
I, uh, which I know it, it was gonna be. I so much love Vice Pills. Uh, this is simply amazing. The uh, banana flavor is really something that you notice really much and um, the whole experience is something that I like so much about Vice Pills. Um, longing back to Bavaria and uh, the amazing nature and places and breweries which is there. It's so refreshing. The Bavarian uh, Vice Pills really favorite for me. Absolutely something you must try in my opinion. Um, so great in its taste. I mean I'm always longing for uh, Vice Pills to be honest. Um, of course I uh, I like many other uh, German beer styles as well, but this might be my favorite beer style at the moment. It's so great, I really understand why it's the most popular beer style in Bavaria. And enjoyed so much. It's fantastic, so refreshing and nice. So this is um, a big must, or recommendation at least for me, the Meisel Schweizer, and um, it's so um, it's uh, it's also really big brewery. So um, at least among the Weisbier breweries, Bavarian Weisbier breweries. That's it. The Meiselsweise. Really, really uh, good opinion from me to Meiselsweise. It's, um, it's so nice. It has got everything that I want from a Bavarian wheat beer. Um, I think that's it for now. I uh, hope you continue to follow my channel for more interesting beer reviews because there's a lot of interesting ones that will be coming up in the future of course as always. So I hope you um, do that and I see you again in the next video.